Good morning, day 83, and today we are heading into the mountains. It was really, really peaceful until a big group of Ukrainians turned up late at night, drinking and chatting away, and then just snoring straight away. But I think I got them out, got about three hours sleep, something like that, um, and don't feel too bad today. Got some coffee. We've got some really exciting plans coming up, so. And um, we're making some hot <laughs> And we're making some nice porridge with some local honey. We'll start the day the right way. Trying desperately to look for somewhere to buy some food. Come across some little places. Oh, in there has, yeah. Yeah, I think we found somewhere. They might have some boric or even some bread. Do they have food in here? Oh, hello. Borlenka. 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 And this one? Banished. Banished. Mmm, yum. Got some. Ta da! So we managed to pick up these sausage and bread things and also two bureks uh, for a combined total of three lev which is about one pound forty for basically a big lunch as well um, and these are delicious aren't they Has? Mm. <laughs> they're good really yummy suspicious meat again but <laughs> suspicious meat good bread and a bit of courgette in there what's it courgette? gherkin, gherkin. yeah <laughs> Cycling the Macedonian Bulgaria Eurovelo 13 sections is tough. There's no question about it. It's the toughest rides we've ever done. We consider ourselves fairly fit um, after cycling here from London. We've been on the road for three months now, but this ride is really hard. One good thing about this area as well though, it's the driest region of Bulgaria. So the likelihood is you have good weather at least. Oh, I could have a cup of tea. So today after Gopsi Nelchev got Gotsi. So today after we get to Gotsi Delcha. Yeah. So today after we get to Gotsi Delchev, we are heading on to Dabnitsa. And we found a little hotel there, it's about 20 euro again, pretty standard. And every single image on Google is of the hotel in snow. Just got to our lunch stop. We made ourselves go until 30 kilometers. And basically, we're absolutely knackered and we've got Borek to eat. Couldn't be happier. We're having a good stretch. Cause it's so hard. It's gotta be one of the toughest cycles you can possibly do anywhere. I'm not over exaggerating, and I tend to do that sometimes. But 30 kilometers straight up. Oh. Greasy, <laughs> cheesy pastry. Mm. So filling, comforting, mm. good. When you're really, really getting tired. Mm. Oh. oh, God.
here we are, Damnitsa. What a ridiculous day. See the mountains behind us? We went up and over those, and it took all day. <laughs> day 84, and today we're going from Damnitsa to Doshpats and it doesn't look as hilly as yesterday we're going from around about 500 here to about 1200 in doshpat it's about 44 kilometers today as well so quite a short day yesterday was punishing it was definitely the hardest day we we're actually talking about which ones are were the hardest days yesterday definitely the hardest day number two for me was the uh bulgaria going into macedonia day that was an absolute killer and number three definitely that switzerland was. day well, there, there, were, there were two Switzerland days, but the day that we left Zurich and went up to the start of the Rhine, no, the Danube, the Danube, yeah. the start of the Danube was really, really hard. Let's go to Doshback. Every now and then, I need to put my seat up um, and houses as well. Basically, we think obviously with all the weight of our body and pushing up hills, the seat slowly goes down over time. Okay, so we just got another breakage on my bike, unfortunately. I was going up the hill and my seat still wasn't high enough. So I was tightening it and then it just snapped off. So basically, the bolt that goes through here and comes out here and you basically screw it so that you can tighten this. But at the moment now, <laughs> the seat just goes down. So we needed a replacement screw which I don't have. So what we're gonna do, as has a stand is broken, there's loads of screws on there. So we're gonna try and bodge it with that screw. I think that might be long enough. Hello. Well, the spring loaded. Right, come on, this is gonna work. So now we've got this screw, and I'm hoping that this is long enough to fit in the saddle post through there. Yeah, it's just hopefully long enough. But well, there's a will, there's a way, and we've managed to fix it. For now. All right. So it's quarter past 12 on day 84. We just scaled another big hill, and we're on the hunt for some lunch. We're now going through some really nice pine forest. It kind of reminds me of when you just come off the A3 or somewhere down towards Guildford or on the way down into Timmouth in Devon. <laughs> it's funny how you can be so far away from home um, but be reminded of places. It looks quite similar. just went up another really long hill and to be honest we're both absolutely knackered and not really enjoying it that much today we're trying to stay positive and just pedal but we're a bit done with these mountains so these are the very regular fountains that you find all over bog area so if you're ever running out of water and you're in the mountains do not worry you're gonna find some water pretty soon. It's all drinkable as well. All the locals have it. It's fantastic stuff. So we're just coming into Doshpat. There's another mosque as well. We're just starting to see more mosques up here in Bulgaria as we head towards the Turkey and Greece border. Wow, it's huge. Second largest reservoir in Bulgaria, apparently. But they don't seem to really care. So beautiful but it's just all these houses in front. You see? Hmm. It's 
speaks Bulgarian, not English. Shirt, shirt, no, not shirt. <laughs> Look at the lake, go back and do some editing and chill out. We are tired. I'm gonna go for a pizza tonight. Where's Hazza? There's Hazza. Legs are tired, Haz. <laughs> Still no fried potatoes. Still no potatoes. These Bulgarian restaurants absolutely kill me. Every single restaurant we've been to, just for a bit of cheap eats or even a nicer meal, they've got it completely wrong every time. Um, there was no boiled potatoes, so he said, oh, have he pointed at the fried potatoes. So I was like, yeah, sure, sure, uh, which was a garnish. Um, we both had our main meals. I had a plate just of burgers and sausages, which was the mixed grill, hoping to have potatoes on the side. They're still not come out. He's taken away our table. He's, he's taken away our plates. He's nowhere to be seen. Um, do we want another drink? Mm, might do. Do we want some dessert? Yes. <laughs> Oh, really Jesus anymore. Christ, it's so painful. We just want to have a quick meal so we can get back and carb load and get sleep. I get it only costs about six quid for this entire meal, but just a simple, simple service and understanding drives us mad. So we're back in our room and after the utter disappointment of dinner, again in Bulgaria, we found a little cake shop just before it closed. And, ha and as has I said, we're only helping them out because it's dairy and it's freshly cooked so we should probably eat them. So what we've got, got a big, big baklava. Amazing, but even better than that. That's probably gonna be for tomorrow to be fair, has. Oh yeah, a big caramel sort of, I don't know, cake and a strawberry one as well. So happy.